We will call the meeting to order at 12.01 p.m. Uh, on the 20th of October. Um, we're here to um, vote on the warrant articles, I believe, Brian, correct? Yep. Um, and I will say, Don Sluter is going to join us to talk about the last article. Okay, good. I assume he will do that quickly or, or soon. Yep, yep, there he is. Should be here. But do um, you want me to just read them and then? Okay. A brief explanation yep. if we need them. Yeah, please. <clears throat> Article one to see if the town will vote pursuant to. Do you want to show your screen, Brian, or no? Yeah, give me one sec. How's that? Perfect. Uh, Article one, see if the town will vote pursuant to general law chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer the sum of $6,500 from the community preservation fund, unreserved fund balance for the expansion of the existing ice rink, installation of a smaller ice rink and for lighting of both rinks or take an, any other action relative thereto. So this is 6,500 in CPA funds. Yeah. Good. Yep. You want to vote all at the end? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's yeah. Do that. Okay. Uh, article two to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of uh, $4,509 from available funds to the public hearing revolving fund to pay for unreimbursed expenses in that account or any other action relative there too. So this is That's addressing a problem right. that, that, that uh, we realized with our public hearing revolving fund in that the fees that the, that the, uh, the land use boards were collecting, planning board, zoning board, um, weren't covering the advertising costs. Um, so whenever there was a, uh, a, you know, a legal notice that was put in the paper, it wasn't covering the costs. So these costs sort of built up over, over time. We've addressed this by by asking the ZBA and planning board, and they've done this to adopt the requirement that uh, all advertising costs be paid for by the applicant. So this problem shouldn't happen again. Okay. Um, article three is related to the park grant that the town has for Hurley Park. Um, it's, so it's to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of um, $107,911 from available funds for the purpose of making certain accessibility improvements at Hurley Park, including but not limited to paving and striping of the driveway parking lot, renovation of the toilet facilities. And then there's a bunch of other language that's required for the grant and that Hurley Park is dedicated to active recreation purposes as authorized in general law chapter 45, section three, which it already is uh, by the deed that the town acquired it through. And the select board author be authorized to file on behalf of the town of Waitley any and all applications deemed necessary for grants. So that's the grant agreement um, and or reimbursements from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts deemed necessary under the park grant or in any other way connected with the scope of this article. And the select would be authorized to enter into all agreements next to you, any and all instruments as may be necessary. So it's just a catch all clause. Um, again, the idea here is that for the grant, we need to show that we have the hundred, and we, that we have the total project cost authorized and available. Um, I think the plan will be, so the local cost is around 45,000. The grant is gonna reimburse us the other uh, 65,000. We'll apply to the, uh, community Preservation Committee for the 45,000 this winter when we get on cycle. We can't do it now because it's they have two cycles where they award, uh, award CPA funds or recommend CPA funds to town meeting. So um, it's already, I, I, I think Jonathan Judy shared that idea at the CPC, right? And I think yep. it was favorable. Yeah, she did. No I don't formal vote, but, um, so really at the end of the day, it's, you know, half of CPA, CPA is, is we've got 100% match, so it's going to be around, you know, twenty something, twenty two thousand dollars in CPA funds, and the rest will be paid for, you know, either through the state CPA match or the park grant. So I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty good deal. Great deal. Yep. Yep. Um, and then once the project is done, we'll um, we'll we'll vote to move the 107 back into 
uh, available funds, probably wherever we take them from free cash or capital stabilization. Um, Article four is also related to a grant. It's related to the complete streets grant. So it says to see if the town will vote to transfer the sum of $7,500 from available funds to pay for the engineering and design costs of sidewalks to be constructed on Chestnut Plain Road and at the elementary school and for other safety improvements on town roads. So the town has 165,000 complete streets grant to finish the sidewalks along Chestnut Plain Road to extend the sidewalk from the school um, where it ends up at the school to the street and then um, some traffic calming uh, measures out in West. So we're looking at the intersection of Williamsburg Road and Conway Road as to slow vehicles down as they go through that Conway, Poplar Hill Road, Weber Road intersection there. Um, the one thing that the, the grant doesn't pay for is uh, engineering costs, design costs. So that's what the 7,500 would be used for. Unfortunately, the um, the engineer that we used in the past um, is not available, um, but Keith and I met with um, another person, um, another retired engineer who's who's willing to do the work and qualified to do the work. And and this would, would come out of, not out of um, capital, it would come out of just general general funds? Yeah, so, so we've listed available funds, so that means we could do free cash or capital stabilization costs. Um, a uh, capital stabilization account. I mean, but the state, but that would, but wouldn't that require a two thirds vote then? Um. So, yes. If we, so we, so we write it generally for the warrant, but for that motion, so we will we'll be specific on the motions. So yeah, it would require a two thirds vote if it's going to come so, out of stabilization. So, so we will be specific when it comes to the the same. We'll have to be specific in the motions. Right now, we don't have free cash certified. Right now, I'm hoping it'll be. Um, certified by the time we have our special town meeting. If not, we have more than sufficient funds in, in stabilization that we could appropriate and then replenish. And I want to make okay, sure yeah. that we're prepared to answer exactly where on Chestnut Plain Road this work will be done because people have seen a lot of work on Chestnut Plain Road already and the question will come up in theory, where right. is this work? Yep. So I'm sorry, I cut you off. I thought I did. Did I not? This is for the, the so. sidewalks on the east side of Chestnut Plain? Yeah, to finish. So from the Vets Memorial to across from the church. So it's the existing sidewalks. Okay. No extension, no extension mm -hmm. of the sidewalks. Right, just to, to match what was done last year on the west side. Right. Correct, yep. To finish, the, to finish that loop that's... Right. Yeah. And we'll just want to articulate that on Saturday. Yeah. Yep. This um, the remainder of the old sidewalks, right? Yeah. We'll put in the new ones, probably likely closer to the street. Um, and we'll uh, tear up the old ones and put down grass, uh, dirt, and then well in grass. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully it'll grow. Um, Article five to see if the town will vote to repurpose. $9,618.75 of unexpended funds appropriated under Article 3 of the December 1st, 2016 Special Town Meeting to include the design and construction of a pumping station to be located off Chestnut Plain Road and associated pipes and infrastructure in order to connect the Waitley Water District's water supply to the Waitley Water Department's water supply system and for all costs incidental and related thereto. So there's this amount of funds left in the money that was originally appropriated just for the design of the of the two systems this just expands that eligibility for construction if they would need those funds so it's not an appropriation of any new money it's just an expansion of the purpose um article six again is repurposing um to see if the town vote to repurpose uh, four thousand seven hundred dollars of unexpended funds appropriated under article 21 of the april 29th 2014 annual town meeting to include making improvements to the athletic fields at Hurley Park, included but not limited to dugout improvements at the small baseball diamond or take any other action relative there too. There was back in 2014, the town appropriated $5,000 for dugout foundations uh, that never came to fruition, I believe, because it was, it was discovered that they were, would have been too close to the property boundary. Uh, too, too close as being kind? On, the prop <laughs> on somebody else's property. How um, someone didn't know that? Well, anyway, we'll... Anyway, 
anyways, that's the proposal is that is that it's not a new appropriation. It's repurposing the additional money for some field improvements and improvements at the existing dugouts. Yeah. Um, in Article 7, this is maybe where Don might want to jump in afterwards. Um, to see if the town will vote to amend the town of Whitley zoning bylaw and zoning map established under section 171-4 to rezone the following parcel from agricultural residential district to the commercial district in order to allow for more commercial uses to be carried out on this parcel. Parcel 1, assess the map ID 12-0-24-2 on State Road or take any other action relative thereto. So my understanding is that this is this parcel was was supposed to be rezoned at the annual town meeting, but it was accidentally left off um, off the annual town meeting warrant. Right, that's correct. What What is the parcel? Where is it? It's uh, where the uh, exit ramp is, um, where Route 5 crosses uh, Interstate 91. It's just a little tip in there, across from uh, La Salle's basically. On the other, on the, on the, on the, on the east side, Don? Yes. Yeah. It'll be just beyond uh, the new vehicle, uh, new house that went in there a lot two years ago. Yeah. And I've got one more thing that uh, I would like to have added. Uh, I've made updates to the town zoning map and I thought that we could do it just under upgrades, but uh, evidently we need to approve the changes at town meeting. Have you had a have you had a public hearing on the changes? No, but they're just it's basically just housekeeping. Uh, we had a bunch of small mistakes, and we we added um, the Pine Plains. Um, they were just basically a bunch of stuff that was not right, correct from the beginning, and then we've had a bunch of re, uh, people did not like the aerial photograph, so we replace those with um, quad sheets. I don't know. Brian's giving you his, you need to have a public hearing face, I think. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if we're, have the changes all been approved previously? On the, uh, on the zoning map? Yeah, because the, the, the other changes that the, the ones that aren't just a kind of mess ups are um, the uh, places we've changed to commercial and those all were passed by public hearing. Brian, can we vote to approve this pending your review? Well, I, I would, I would ask, I would ask council if they. Pending council's review. I guess my point is we don't want to meet again. We're under a time deadline. We can review it and we well, can pull it. If if council says don't do it, we we can. Um, well, you well can. wait a minute. Uh, maybe I could add this to. Um, I mean, well, is there a time? Is there a is there a, a a time constraint on this that it needs to be done at at this special town meeting? Um, and do we have copies of the map on file yeah, with the town clerk? Yeah, Amy's got co copies of the map. Is there is there a time constraint that that this has to be done at this one? Um, I guess not. It's just irking to me. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, if we don't know if it requires a town, but I would say put it off to the next special town meeting if there's no urgency, just to know if we've crossed all the T's and dotted all the I's as far as okay. hearings. Or, or move it to the regular town meeting in, in, you know, whenever that is next spring. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, do I hear a motion to accept? these articles as drafted. I move we accept these article warrant articles as drafted. I second. All those in favor, uh, Fred? Aye. 
Joyce? Aye. Me, yep. Okay, motion carried unanimously. And so, so this Brian, is for good? a special town meeting on November 6th, uh, 2021 at one o'clock p.m. It's a Saturday and it'll be um, at the town offices, hopefully outside if it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Are we done? Um, I, I do not have anything else. I move that we adjourn. Second. All those in favor, Joyce? Aye. Fred? Aye. Me, yep. Yeah.